So this is my third video on body positivity, and I'm outside here at my friend's house in Tucson, Arizona. When we go into a bathroom and we look in the mirror at ourselves, we're usually reminded of something negative, I think, most of us women at least, um, something from childhood, some kind of flaw or embarrassment. We don't usually see ourselves purely and innocently as if for the first time the way that other people see us. And so I think other people have to be our true mirrors um, to show the truth to us because we have so much baggage around our bodies, either shame or unworthiness, or I think for me it's more a sense of being invisible to others. It's not true at all but it's just the baggage that I carry with me from childhood misunderstandings or wounds or, um, yeah, just, just things that happen to us that are of no fault of anyone's. But when we encounter others who can see us and really see us and we see them and we see the similarities between us and we see how beautiful they are innately and they see how beautiful we are innately, and that's reflected either non-verbally or verbally, there is something really beautiful that happens. And I think that it's very different than other cancers. Um, to have had a mastectomy is really, especially going flat, is really a different kind of experience than other cancers. So you won't find this in a cancer support group, even though my chosen support group is a general cancer support group. But Getting together with other women who have gone flat after mastectomy is a totally different experience. And it's, like I said, it doesn't have to be verbal. It doesn't have to be around um, even sitting around a circle and sharing. It's just about encountering the other, whether it's one woman or many women, and appreciating them for who they are and having them appreciate you for who you are. And realizing together that the beauty is still there in spite of the mastectomy and the change. I think it is something spiritual. I think it is something where, you know, maybe we've been lying to ourselves or others have lied to us about what beauty is about and what we realize, the realization that comes upon us when we're together as flatties is that beauty is not about breasts. It has nothing to do with scars. It has nothing to do with um, unblemished perfection. That beauty is something probably that emanates out of us, out of our souls and into our, into our skin, into the, the image that we present to others. And when there's an environment of trust, which is, you know, kind of hard to come by sometimes, unless you create it for yourself, then you can really let down your guard and be seen in a way that is just so precious. And like I said, it's hard to explain or describe. You just have to experience it. We are charting out, I'm a volunteer with Stand Hall, and we are charting out all of the different walks in all the different towns and cities and hoping to get leaders, ambassadors is what we call the leaders, for these flat teams. And there's not much to it. You just show up and make people feel welcome and create that environment of trust. And at some point during the walk, our hope is that most of the women in any team would feel comfortable enough by the end, at least to take their shirts off and get a picture with each other and just be seen by each other and by some of the other women at the breast cancer walk around them. It's powerful. It's, um, it's a moment. It doesn't take very long to see the magic happen. And uh, like I said, it's free of charge. And then you might form friendships and take away friendships as a bonus to that experience as well. It's pretty likely that you will because the bond is pretty tight after experiencing that mirror uh, realization that I was talking about. So uh, I'll, I'll tag um, down below and up above here. I'll, I'll send you the link to the video I made of my first breast cancer walk as a ambassador leader for Stand Tall AFC. It was my first breast cancer walk and my, my first walk as a leader. So I just jumped in right at first without any experience or even having gone to a walk before. That's how easy it is. So I hope you'll do it too for your community and provide that experience to others. 
So I'll provide that video link to you here. And it looks like I made it through this video without too much wind or noise. So I'm going to close it here and just wish you the best in the coming week. And I will see you soon with another video about body positivity. Take care in the meantime. Bye-bye.